Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 162nd episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. All right, and to start things off, I'm just going to get right into the news. So earlier this week on the 15th, Apple issued invitations to select members of the media for their upcoming October 22nd event, which is expected to showcase the company's latest line of iPads. The new Mac Pro and OS X Mavericks are also scheduled to be topics of discussion. Now this year's iPad event will be held in San Francisco at the Yerba Buena Center for the Arts and will commence promptly at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And the tagline for this year's invitation is, quote, we still have a lot to cover. So without much pondering, it's likely that the tagline is referring to things to cover and things that can be covered, with smart covers that is. Of course, like Apple's upcoming iPad 5 or 5th generation iPad and the 2nd generation iPad mini. Now, as some of you may remember, in last week's episode, I covered a couple of rumors that suggested Apple would hold their event for unveiling the next iPad models on October 22nd, and it looks like that rumor turned into reality. So just be sure to stay tuned for complete coverage this Tuesday. Of course, I will keep you guys completely updated on everything related to the new iPads. I wanted to discuss a new video I posted on my channel this week. So it was covering jailbreaking and all of the latest news pertaining to development on the next untethered iOS 7 jailbreak to come from the Evaders. I just wanted to keep you guys completely informed on the situation, so if you happen to miss that video, just be sure to watch it. I'll have a link to it down below. But really quick, referencing an article from Jailbreak iOS Evasion, I'll get you guys somewhat caught up. So the Evaders, the team who brought us the iOS 6 through 6.1.2 untethered jailbreak for all devices that were current at the time, will certainly deliver the iOS 7 jailbreak to the public in a timely fashion, especially considering the difficulties and complications surrounding the development of a tool that supports a wide range of devices. And based on current information, the team, the Evaders, will hold off on releasing a utility until after Apple releases the next iPad models being the fifth generation iPad and the second generation iPad mini and that's because the team doesn't want any exploits to go to waste they want to make sure that the jailbreak functions properly on all of Apple's current devices including the unreleased but soon to be released iPad models now earlier this month on the 7th developer win OCM informed his followers that the ETA or estimated time of arrival for his purported iOS 6.1.3 and 6.1.4 jailbreak utility is quote before 2014 unfortunately though tying this back to what I was just talking about, it seems as though the iOS 6.1.3 tool won't be complete before the iOS 7 jailbreak is. So a few factors come into play when calculating the long development period of WinOCM's alleged 6.1.3 utility, most notably the fact that the responsibility of coding and testing falls on him alone for the most part at least. Moreover, a jailbreak dream team like the Evaders are more apt to tackle the challenges related to creating a jailbreak as the members have more experience in the field. And now referencing another article from Jailbreak iOS Evasion that I highly recommend all of you who are interested in jailbreaking read through. Just like with the iOS 6 through 6.1.2 evasion utility, the iOS 7 or 7.0.2 jailbreak will be released. These things just take time. And the article that I have linked to below will help you fully appreciate the magnitude of coding required to create a jailbreak for iOS 7 or any jailbreak for that matter. And to do that, the article references POSIX Ninja's Shattered Dream talk from the Hack in the Box 2013 conference. So included in his talk were Ponage, Ponage 2, 20 4K pwn the exploitation of vulnerabilities, jailbreak payloads, shatter, BBS, and heap segments, SSH mem set, a multitude of head dizzying code, and so much more across 95 different slides. And although POSIX Ninja's presentation was more than overwhelming for those who aren't overly familiar with coding, the work detailed is actually a fraction of what's required to create a jailbreak. Just remember guys, the devices that they'll have to include will be powered by A4, A5, A5X, A6, A6X, and A7 processors, not to mention the fact that Apple may very well release the fifth generation iPad equipped with an A7X processor with differing architecture that the team has to include support for in the next iOS 7 jailbreak. And like I said before, check out that post if you want a more thorough explanation. I highly recommend it. It will definitely be enlightening for those of you who aren't aware of how long a jailbreak actually takes to develop. And finally, also earlier this week, I posted another video on my channel, an unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 smartphone. Now this thing actually almost appears more tablet than smartphone because its screen does measure in at 5.7 inches diagonally. It's displayed is an incredible 1080p. Some people like to call it a phablet, a cross between a phone and a tablet. I highly recommend checking it out and watching it if you guys are interested. I also give some comparisons between different iPhone models that accurately show how gigantic the Note 3 really is. All right, and that's it for this week and this episode. I hope you guys liked it. 
Of course, just be sure to stay tuned on Tuesday when Apple announces their next iPad models. And don't forget, you can still enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card. Just be sure to rate this video up and hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comments have been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And if you don't know what to leave in the comment section, try answering the question of the day. So are you guys excited for the iPad 5 and the iPad mini 2? If so, why? Keep in mind, I'm planning on holding a giveaway for one of the new iPad models. So just be sure to let me know which one you'd prefer below. And of course, to be updated more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, add me in one of your circles inside of Google Plus, and you can follow me on Instagram now at ICUID. Link to that down below in the more info. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.